It's finally here, folks, the Mentimeter app for Zoom. We here at Mentimeter are super stoked to show you this new integration because this means that you as a presenter are able to engage your audience with polls, quizzes, and word clouds directly inside a Zoom meeting. And your audience will be able to participate and vote inside the Zoom meeting tab as well. No need for any phones or switching between tabs. In this video, I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the Mentimeter app for Zoom and get you ready to present your own interactive presentations. The quickest way to get started is to click the link in the description below. That link will take you to mentimeter.com slash zoom. Here, I'm gonna press the big button that says download the app. This will take you to the Zoom marketplace and here you can sign in to your Zoom account. I'm gonna use Gmail here to sign in. Once you're signed in, you continue by pressing visit site to install. And here I click authorize. If you're having trouble with authorizing the app, you may need to request approval from your organization's Zoom admin. For more information on this, you can check out the link in the description below. But I don't have that problem, so I'm simply gonna press authorize. This will now launch my Zoom app with Mentimeter installed. And here you can go ahead and log in to your Mentimeter account. If you don't have a Mentimeter account, no worries. You can always create one for free and start making your own interactive presentations. All right, I have now installed the Mentimeter app successfully in my Zoom account. Now, let's take a look at how to use this in an actual Zoom meeting. So, in order to do that, I'm gonna start a new Zoom meeting. And here, I'm gonna bring in my friend uh, Jacob, just to show you how it will look, both from the presenter's point of view and the audience point of view. There he is, how you doing, Jacob? Awesome, so in order to get my Mentimeter presentation out in the Zoom meeting, I'm gonna go down here to apps. I'm gonna click on this, and as we can see, we have Mentimeter installed. Gonna click on this here, and I'll be able to select my presentations. Here, I only have one, the team meeting, so I'm gonna click on that. Now, in order to include my audience and allow them to vote on the presentation, I'm gonna start by clicking send up top here. This will now send the voting link to all the participants inside the Zoom meeting. I'm now gonna click share, which is right next to the send button. And as we can see, the Mentimeter presentation pops up in a new window and my audience at home will be able to vote directly inside the Zoom meeting. Let's also look at the audience point of view. When you as a presenter click that send button, all the participants will get a little window that pops up on the corner of the Zoom meeting. There, they'll be able to click the view button. If they don't have Mentimeter installed already, they can simply click Add to install it to their Zoom. Once they click Authorize, they can go back to the Zoom meeting, click Open, and then simply vote inside of the Zoom meeting without the need for any switching between tabs or using their mobile phones. Remember, your audience does not need a Mentimeter account in order to vote. They do, however, need to have the Mentimeter app installed in their Zoom account. As we've seen in this live demo here today, the Mentimeter app for Zoom really helps to create a seamless experience for you as a presenter and for your attendees when they're going to vote. We're really proud of this. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts on the Mentimeter app for Zoom.